Okay, so this video is being made to show the Chrome box running stream in home streaming of uh, some video games using the Chrome box. And just so I can check it out, let's see, it's pretty small. This is the actual Chrome box. I hope y'all can get a good view of it. Uh, but that's the whole computer that's running everything. And it's a monitor bracket on the back of the TV. So that makes it easy and out the way. It keeps it pretty clean looking. So I have to sign into my Google account because it is Chrome based. Alright, so now I've signed in under my account and I'm using what is called Crouton to swap between Linux and uh, Chrome. And as you can see, it's pretty uh, seamless. I can jump between. Uh, Chrome OS. This is Linux. This is Chrome. And uh, I'll jump back and forth between the two. That's Linux. So what we're going to do is uh, launch Steam. As you can see, Steam is already up just that quick. And what I'll do is I'll go make it easier, you guys. I'm going to big picture mode. And as you can see, Steam, you can actually be installed on Mac, Windows, or Linux. So this is a Linux-based Steam install. Same as you would get on a Windows machine. Um, let's go to the games. As you can see, it shows 41 games. All these games can now be played on this machine. Uh, well, they can now because I'm streaming it. But uh, you normally can't play all these games on this machine. So as you can see, I have 41 total games. I can play 35 will install. All these games are actually installed on um, my other PC, which has, has the process of how to run all these games. A gaming rig built for gaming in Photoshop, uh, anyways. So, all the work is actually being processed by another computer. And this is all in home streaming. And let's try something like we'll try Fallout. And as you can see, it's relatively quick. All right, so. This is uh, the game loading up, and we actually have a Xbox controller wired to it. So we can use the Xbox controller if we want to to play the game. We'll just continue, as you can see, I'm using the uh, Xbox controller to control it. And uh, this game requires a pretty decent graphics card to get pretty good quality. Now I'm not going to get perfect quality because I'm streaming. But as you can see, I'm playing a game that uh, this little Steam box will never be able to run on its own. And I'm running it through uh, wireless. So if you have a Ethernet cord, a gigabyte wire, obviously the quality would be better. Uh, it probably wouldn't be as much, I guess, a little bit of latency issues, as you can see. But uh, the game is super playable. Like I said, this game is pretty uh, 3D. And of course, the video settings can be adjusted on my other computer to put out a little bit better quality and if you look in the other room on my other screen uh, what the host PC is is uh, obviously a lot better quality but like I said you can uh, you know everything works so it's pretty cool let's exit this game launch something